Hello, my name is Kendrick McAdams, and this is my presentation for Lab 3. Alright, so, as you can see here, this is on the left, this is the ER diagram that we're using to make our relational schema. So, I'm just going to get started. So, first of all, what I like to do is I like to first make all the entities, and then after I'm done with all the entities, I'll make the relationships. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to start right here at product. So I'm going to go put a relation down here. I'm going to put the name product. Make sure it's all caps. Okay. So now the title of the entity goes here, which is product. As you can see right here, this is the title. So now we've got to get to the attributes. Um, uh, primary key. Pro uh, this product's primary key is product ID. So that goes right here. So I'm going to write product ID. All right. So product price, that's another attribute. So we're going to start writing that down here. We've got product price and now product name. There we go. All right. So as you can see, we've got product, that's the title. We've got product ID, which is the primary key. And we can see that right here because it's underlined. We've got product price and product name, which are both attributes. And as you can see, I've got row three over here, which is that's kind of a placeholder because once we add the relationships, we might have to add some more rows on because of uh, foreign keys. But I'm so I'm going to leave that right there just just in case we need to use it later. All right, so I'm going to go now here right here to vendor. So let me so we got the uh, relation right here. Let me. Write the name vendor. Okay, vendor's uh, primary key is vendor ID. So let's write down here. Make sure it's underlined, and it's it's um, attribute. It's other attribute right is right here. Vendor name. Okay, vendor name. All right. So I think that's everything we need from vendor. <coughs> and again, we're just gonna leave these extras just in case we need them later. And I'm gonna now. I'm gonna go down here to the um, another one that's connected to um, product. I'm gonna do category. All right. And I'm not showing the relationships yet because I told you I'm going to um, show them after. After I get all the entities down, then I'm gonna start doing relationships. So that will be coming in just a second. All right, we got category down there. The pri primary key is category ID. So let's get that written down. Then we got category name as the attribute. And that looks like that's all we need. We got categories, the name, the title. We got the primary key, it's underlined, it's category ID. Okay, we got that and category name. So it looks like we got everything there. So let's move to sales transaction. All right. Let's put it down here, kind of to mirror the uh, format of the ER diagram. Sales transaction. All right. Got to make sure no space. It's all caps. We're all good. All right. TID. That is the primary key for sales transaction and you can see right here so we're going to be writing that underlined in the primary key uh, area all right next we've got t date which is the other attribute for sales transaction so let's write that down all right i think we've got everything for that so let's go to the right and we're going to do customer next so we'll put it right here name is customer okay the primary key is the one underlined here, customer ID. And the other attributes are customer name. All right, and customer zip. So we've got the other two attributes plus the primary key. We've got all the attributes for that. So we're done for right now on this one. So we're going to move this one over here because now we've got store. So we're going to write store over here because that's the title, as you can see in the middle of the entity box. Um, we got to write down store ID because that's the primary key 
Actually, no, whoops. Store ID goes up here. That's my bad. Store ID goes there, underline, because it's the primary key. Then store zip goes down here, because it's, it's an attribute. All right, let's get the last one. If you look up here, we've got region. And that should be the last one we have to do. So let's get that one done. So the title is region. Oh, let me make sure it's all caps. There we go. Primary key is region ID. So let's write that down. The attribute is region name. There we go. And that should be about everything. It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one, two, three, four, seven. Oh, now we're good. All right, so now it's time to get to the relations. So this is where it gets a little weirder. All right, so we're going to start in the middle right here between product and sales transaction. As you can see, this is a an M2N relationship, which that that's where it gets kind of weird. The one to the one to M's and the one to ones are a little easier to do, but the M to M's uh, M to N's. How we do this is we have to make a separate relation in here that serves to link the two. All right. So we're gonna first we name it the name of the relationship, which is includes. Okay. And now primary keys. So the primary keys of this one is actually made up of it's a c composite primary key made up of. Um, both of the ones that's in a relationships with primary keys. So we'll go up here, the row one, we'll do this one up here just because why not. Um, the name, the primary key for this is product ID. So that's what we're going to put in for the primary key for here. And we're going to add a f FK to show that it's a foreign key. It's already listed over here, but I just like putting it just, um, just because that's how it's usually put. All right. Um, primary key over here the second one is going to be the one for the other one in the relationship which is sales transaction so the primary key for this is TID so it's going to be underlined that's what we're going to put here alright so there we go we've gotten the primary keys but the one the one last thing we need to worry about is this includes actually has a separate one right here as you can see that's connected to it okay so we need to put that down here and its attributes so right here quantity because that's that's what this one is right here and after we do that we're we're pretty much done with this um, we gotta we'll fix it get rid of the extra information that we don't need that extra line and we'll connect it with arrows to the two ones it's connected to and there we go it's that easy alright now let's start getting the, the rest of them okay so First of all, let's do the one between product and vendor. Okay, so that is, um, this is a mini, one-to-mini relationship. So how we do this is when it's that kind of relationship, we will put the, um, the foreign key in the one that is closest to the mini sign symbol. So as you can see, between these two ones, the mini symbol is right here in product. So we're going to put the foreign key in product. And what we'll do for the foreign key is we'll just take the primary key of the uh, one it's having a relationship with, which in this case is vendor. We'll take the primary key, which is vendor ID, and add a uh, parentheses FK, close parentheses after it. All right. So we'll do vendor ID foreign key. And there we go. And that is how to do it. And well, what you'll do is we'll put an arrow right here going to vendor and this shows they're in relationship and that's how to do it. We've got their relationship done. And now we just had to do this for all the rest of them. So let's go to product and category. If you can see on the left here, it's another one to M, which means that again, we'll put the foreign key in the one that is closest to the M symbol, which is over here with product. That means we're going to add another row onto this. so. I'll get that done real quick. There we go. We got another row on. So now we have to figure out what the what to put in here is a foreign key. So again, we're going to put the primary key of the um, entity it's having a relationship with, which is right here, category ID. All 
All right, there we go. And and in this one, you know, this one we had to, we underlined them because they were its primary keys. But this one, they're not primary keys for. The foreign keys are not primary keys and all the rest of them unless it's another one that has an end to end relationship. So we don't have to worry about underlining. <coughs> We're pretty much done for that. All we have to do is just add the arrow. And there we go. And now we're just going to keep doing this. So let's go do sales transaction customer. Another one to M. So again, we're going to put it on the side on the one that is closest to the M symbol, which is in sales, which is sales transaction. So we're going to put the primary key of the one it's in relationship with, which is customer ID. All right, customer ID. Make sure to add FK at the end of it. Mm -hmm. And then we just add the arrow, and there we go. All right, let's do the next one. Sales transaction in store. Um, it's a one to M again, and again we're gonna put it in the M side, closest to the M, which is sales transaction again. So let's get over here. the The primary key for store is store ID, so we're gonna write that down here. Store ID, FK. All right, and now let's just get the arrow. There we go. All right, over here. It's another one to M relationship, so we're doing the same exact thing as we've done for all the rest of them. The prime, the store is the one closest to the mini symbol, so we're putting the foreign key there. So the primary key for region is region ID, so we put region ID down here, and we go foreign, no, no not foreign, FK. There we go. So we got region ID over here and make the arrow alright so it's looking like we've got all of them done pretty much so now now that we've gotten all the relationships shown um, that match the uh, the original ER diagram we've got to get rid of all the extra rows that we don't need so I'm gonna do that real quick alright There we go. Come on, there we go. There we go. One more. And here we go. We are done. We've gotten all the the entities mapped into this and into relations here. We've uh, made sure we got all the attributes. <coughs> we've got all the primary keys listed, all the correct ones. Got the titles. We've got and we've got the relationship shown. And we have foreign keys showing which ones related to who, and and arrows. And we're showing which. Um, so we've got everything. We've got everything we need for a relational schema. So uh, thank you for watching.